Welcome to That's The Point, your inside scoop on the latest construction technology and workflows, brought to you by the experts at Building Point. All right, hey everybody, welcome back to That's The Point. My name is Steve Karen, joined by my lovely co-host, Mr. Jonathan Stickle. How are you, man? Doing good, thank you, Steve. Good, good to, good to be back in the studio. It's been a little bit, um, and it feels really good because today we're talking about you know, something I feel a lot of our, our contractors, you know, maybe aren't aware of, or they're at least not talking about in, in terms of building construction. Um, and that's why today we're going to dive into GPS or GNSS for field layout. You know, we're going to touch on, you know, when GPS is a valid option. And of course, we're always here to inform you of, you know, when it's not a viable option. Yeah. And just a l- quick uh, reminder, uh, robotic tool decisions, they're always going to be a, a viable option in any situation. You can use the GPS GNNS solution for certain circumstances, um, but it's not meant to replace a robotic total station. That is uh, still the main tool that you'll use for the majority of your projects. Right, right, of course. And that, yeah, folks, we didn't put put this video out today to say, hey, you know, you don't need a total station anymore. This is the this is the end all be all solution. Yeah, not at all. No, it has <laughs> time and a place. Um, so yeah, so so GPS GNSS, it's it's you know typically considered like just a survey tool, um, but it's actually a, a great tool for you know contractors performing field layout, you know, in building construction. Um, so GPS is it's a location tool. It's, it's just like a robotic total station, and uh, you know both solutions have have now been widely used in construction, and they've both been confirmed uh, to be highly effective. Um, so again, we've you've heard us say GPS and GNSS. I wanted to touch on that real quick. So they're both it's a network of satellites okay so so gps is the us's network of satellites uh currently they have there's 31 active there there's 32 up there one has one just floating around yep yeah, it's yeah it's <laughs> falling apart up there uh so there's 31 floating around up there um and that again that's the us network gnss on the other hand that is the global network as a whole um so to touch on that gnss includes not only the us but it also includes you know russia's europe's China's. So it's a collective. So, um, but yeah, so, so using, you know, GPS, the positioning it's, it's used to stake your points in the field. So think about GPS on a cell phone, right? So that can generally pinpoint your location within like a reasonable distance. I'd say like this room, a 10 by 10 room, something like that. So again, when you're using your phone, that's, that's pretty good, but we're talking about field layout with construction and, you know, we need to be way better than that. Um, so that's where GNSS and with, with correction sources come in. Um, so we can, you know, dive into where we're seeing GPS as a fit and, and where we're not. Yeah, so we'll just kind of dive into some of the pros and cons of why you, you would use this tool. Um, some of the pros, it's great for large uh, site work. So if you're doing underground utilities, storm drains, sewage, um, running electrical conduit, um, that would be a good use case. Uh, if you're on the top deck of a building and don't have extreme extremely tight tolerances if you have some wiggle room it's a great use case um you can lay out within about a half an inch of accuracy so if accuracy isn't as important and you, and you just need to lay out a lot of points right um want to be it, quick <laughs> yeah if you just want to be quick and lay out a ton of points that's a good use case you can always come back in with a total station and get the um the points in a, a bit tighter um, it does have a tail compensator, so you don't have to worry about your rod being plumb or level. Um, the, the compensator will calibrate and correct for up to a 30-degree angle. And um, it runs on Trimble Field Link, which is the same as the robotic total stations. So if you're already familiar using a RTS, um, that same software is uh, will be used here. And it's very user-friendly, um, so you don't have to learn anything new, which is a plus. Right. It's great, yeah, because it's not survey software. Mm-hmm. Um, another thing I wanted to touch on, too, was was – Looking at this right here, I mean, this is a rugged, rugged solution, okay? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, that's self-contained. Um, it's, this is not like a total station. You know, no one cares if this thing gets knocked over or if it falls off the back of a truck. You know, Trimble's actually done a drop test with this. Yeah. Um, I'm going to tell you one thing. Nobody is doing a drop test with the total station. You know, that's a prized possession. You don't want that thing knocked over. This thing, it's nobody solid. cares. Yeah, <laughs> nobody cares. This is solid. <laughs> Very good. So, yeah, we'll just dive in as some of the reasons why you wouldn't want to use this solution. Um, so you do need a clear line of sight to the sky. So if you're in an area where there's a lot of noise, if there's a lot of trees obstruct, obstructing your view to the sky, not going to be the best solution. No. Um, you can use it on the um, top deck of a building. But if you're in a downtown type setting where there's buildings all around you, it's not going to be the great solution. Yep. Um 
So um, I know you're going to dive into some of the things, some of the correction things we can use to to help that out. Yeah. So the first one is is a base station. Um, so um, when you're thinking about it, you, you've got your signal from your you know your satellites coming down. You've got a rover, so that's you know you walking around, you know laying out your points with it, and then a base station. So this could be considered a base station as well as your rover, but this would be set up over a known point, and that's going to what's give you that triangulation. So using the the GPS signal to the base station and then sending the corrections, um, and you know out to your rover. So that's what's going to that's what's going to you know tie in there. So what I like to hit on too though is the VRS network. So Trimble actually has their own VRS network in the state of Florida, and it's actually it's one of the best that are out there. Um, it is a subscription based offering. Um, I think monthly is a hundred something dollars a month. If you get it for the year, I think they throw you a bone too, and you get a little bit, you know, cheaper than as if you were to do it monthly. Uh, but that's, that's totally up to you. Um, and so what it is, is instead of connecting to a single base station that you'd had set up over a known point, you actually connect to a network of Trimble's base stations that they have located throughout all of, all of Florida. Which is which is pretty good. A um, couple caveats: a cell signal is required for that. Um, so just think of it as like your cell phone data plan. Um, you'll need a SIM card, you know, a hotspot, um, and then what you'll do is you'll receive the corrections through the cell data network. Um, and then, as you can tell, as I touched on VRS a lot more than I did the base station, there's a reason for that. And you know, logging into the Trimble VRS network and gathering all your corrections that way without the need of owning you know, another one of these to have a base station. And, you know, so that's another piece of hardware that you're lugging around. You've got to go set that up over a known point. I'll take the network every time, every time. Every yeah. time. <laughs> exactly. And um, just one thing before we close, I want to reiterate the fact that both um, the GPS GNSS solution and the robotic total stations both run off of Trimble Field Link. Yeah. Um, that means you can easily transition between using the GNSS for laying out a parking lot or doing large site work and then switch over to the robotic total station for more precise layout within the buildings. Um, so this is a huge value in terms of being user friendly, um, having easy workflows. And for current TFL users, you don't have to learn a new software, which is a huge plus. Yeah, I think that's real big. A lot of times you're out in the field. You know, if you're using two different solutions, it's going to have its own set of software and its own, you know, it's like siloed. And here with Trimble, that's not the case. You're on your tablet and you, you know, can go from using GPS and just hit a button on the tablet. And now you're off and running with your RTS, your robotic total station and doing those pinpoint accurate layout. It's I think it's impressive. Exactly. Exactly. So um, as we close, if you guys have any questions or thoughts, please let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to hit this button and subscribe. That'll ensure you never miss a beat or a new episode once it goes live. And if you want to learn more, please reach out to your local Building Point representative today. We're here to help you out. On behalf of Steve, myself, and in our entire Building Point team, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on That's the Point. Thanks again for joining us on That's the Point. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe on YouTube today.